13 minutes remaining in the match. Ball heads over the 18 on the play. Now good job by McCord trying to pressure Maris, but Dillon got the answer. Goes off to the far side now to Fuller with 12.49 remaining. They're trying to create something with Maris along with Corrado. They try to go give and go now, one touch looking for Pets. Instead, they come near side to Ward for the Eagles, moving from right to left in the right jerseys. Now they try to go back to Maris in the midfield third. Maris, ooh, he tried a little one-touch tip pass with the right foot, but McCord had the answer. Now Wiley back in the play, and once again, King intercepts, and the Tigers thwart that foray. 12-21 remaining in regulation. And now the Eagles try to come back now on the counter with Fuller off the right wing. Looking for a nutmeg over here possibly. Good job by King to stop that particular rush. And now we're down to 12 minutes remaining in regulation. Two to one lead for the Tigers from Evansville Memorial over Zionsville. Near sideline to Ward. Ward looking for Pets. Good slide tackle here on the near sideline. Again by Justin Neville. Pets trying to get the half a step advantage if he can. Now it's picked back up by Corrado. Looking on the right side, the Eagles stay on side on the far side with Fuller. 50-50 ball goes off as Coach Veith right now playing the substitution game and milking time off that clock. And now they will stop it. And let's see if the Eagles right now try to start pressuring up another midfielder here in the final 10 minutes of this match. They trail 2-1 to one here with 11.06 remaining. Maris with a nice chip pass now into the corners. They try to set up a potential cross. Headed by King, but intercepted by Maris for the Eagles. Great speed by Maris in the midfield third. He got taken down. It's going to be a free kick here. Here's the kick by Pets. He goes directly for the goal. Knocked down to the defense nicely by the Tigers. And that time a great job of coming back for the header by Latta for the Tigers. Coming up on 10 minutes remaining in regulation. Knocked up the elevator shaft by Neville over the near touchline. The energy level has been expended here with that big push about uh, halfway through the second half after the Maris goal. Now Betts trying to beat the double team. Pets now coming on the play. Great dribbling ability outside the 18. And again, Mitch McCord with a great job of coming back back checking for the Tigers. Tigers lead one nut. Beautiful nutmeg on the play by Pets. Near sideline for Harrison, trying to get the corner. Crossover dribbling ability again. Here's his cross to the far side. Knocked out of the defense again. And once again, Garcia, Jerry, with a great job on the header. He's done an excellent job in the back for him. Now Ward looking on the play for Pets. Here's his shot of the play and a great save by Wilgus as he goes crashing into the post. Nine minutes remaining in regulation as they continue to pepper the netminder. Ball outside the 18, it's still free outside the six. Knocked up the elevator shaft that time by number 21, Barons for the Tigers. And Trev Wolgus trying to make sure he's in the 317 area code. 840 remaining. Two to one lead in favor of the Tigers from Evansville Memorial. And that one was too close for comfort for the Tigers, coach. I'll tell you, Zionsville keeps pounding it in and, and uh, Memorial has responded every time. Maris now in the central midfield area, and this time uh, Pets is well offside, and they will blow that play dead now with coming up on eight minutes of Evansville Memorial High School. Long feed now will come down towards Knorr, and Max will corral it on the play. Nominate a student athlete today for the Dial One Hour Scholar Athlete Award. Each month, Dial One Hour awards one male and one female scholar athlete with a $1,000 scholarship to help pay for the cost of higher education. That was a great flick on by uh, A.J. Corrado there. Got it right by Wilgus over there as he came out to the 18 and took no chances. Now Dylan Wiley through the midfield circle near side to Ward. Ward now beautiful ground ball attack to Corrado. Got by one defender on the play. He's got Pets up there in company. Got it to him on the play. Harrison's free on the left wing. Comes in shot deflected off oh. the defender. A shot and a goal! So seven minutes remaining in regulation and we're right back where we started from. Not at a two. Ball over the midfield stripe now. Headed at the defense. The Eagles have really taken it to the Tigers here in the second half. Maris now on the play over to Pets. Harrison lost control, and it's knocked uh, back towards the defense that time by Fain for the Tigers. 6.44 remaining in regulation. Wiley's pass. They're looking for Ward on the right wing. They got him open. Nobody marking him on the wing. Good job defensively by the Tigers, and they break it back out. 
Nice job on the play by Double Deuce, Matt Fain, for the Tigers. So two consecutive goals here in the second half by the Eagles after the Tigers took that 2-0 lead. Garcia now gets it back to the midfield third for the Tigers. We're down to 6-11 remaining in regulation. Midfield third now to Corrado. Almost forgot the soccer ball, but picked it back up. Now they go now with a nice through ball off to the far side. Garcia's back there, but I believe it's going to be a corner coming in with the corner. Here it comes, deflected on the play. Ward was trying to get it over to Pets on the left wing. And now it comes back to the midfield third on the play to Yacht. 5.35 remaining in regulation. 2-2 tie between Evansville Memorial and Zionsville and the 2008 Boys Soccer State Championship. Again, good play by Yacht, but carried on by the Tigers. Now Piley's got it here in the midfield third, and he'll come back on the counter for Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer, a six-foot senior, into the ball game. 5-13 remaining in regulation. Picked up by Reedford on the left wing. Goes against his numerical counterpart, Dylan Wiley, on the left side. With five minutes remaining, line. they come in the box, knock down defensively. They'll try to get a regroup on a shot. They got through everybody near sideline. Used that height to his advantage in the box out here tonight. 4-12 remaining here in regulations as Tyler Veith pounds the turf here at Kuntz. Now stolen on the play by Stapleton. Jeff gets it back, regroups, now off to the far side, looking on the play for Lakowecki. Max now off the left side, working his magic, trying to go with a crossover dribble. Good job of sealing off on the play. Here's Veith's cross into the goal on the play. Knocked down to the defense. Now a laser beam, and Knorr comes up with the save. On the shot on the play off the far side by Stapleton. That was an excellent shot from the position he was in. Three minutes. Three minutes remaining in regulation in a 2-2 tie. Ooh, a chance taken there and a great job of coming up as well from the defense by Eggleston for the Eagles. Ground ball attack looking for Harrison Pets on the right wing. Going 50-50 over there with Fair, trying to get the half a step on it. Got it done. Beautiful job by Harrison. Slide tackle on the back side, and they say play on. Wow. That was very close. It wouldn't have been a PK, but it would have set up a brilliant direct kick opportunity, and now Pets is cramping up. 2.35 remaining in regulation. Pets is still down on the turf on the far side. Now the ball comes into Ward. Ward now will just go ahead and kick it over the touchline. To go into overtime if he's going to be able to come back. Long throw in on the play comes back now to the keeper, Max Knorr. And that was kind of a courtesy situation there because they took the intentional uh, pass outside on the play. Now a deflection to the far side to Fuller for the Eagles. He's got Pfeiffer up there along with Ward on the right wing. As right now Harrison Petz, they're continuing to work on the crank with two minutes remaining. Two minutes remaining in regulation. Near sideline play on the play for uh, number 13 out there, Weston Wersman. And Wersman lost control now with a buck 47 remaining. Keep in mind if we tie, we go to two seven minute non-sudden death overtime sessions here. Now across on the play, we'll go past the far post. The play. Wilgus now with the goal kick with 118 remaining in regulation. Tell you what, if anything, if Zionsville gets this to overtime, what an emotional boost it'll be for the final 14 minutes. Uh, great game. Great final. Now Maris got the pass from Wiley outside the 18. Here it comes just past the near post. That save that he made on Pets near sideline off the post was incredible. That's a great save. 30 seconds remaining in regulation as the ball is tipped off. A minute remaining here in regulation. Pfeiffer trying to get the deflection. Wilgus is going to come out, and boy, they had to get that out of there quickly with Garcia. 19 seconds remaining. Reedford now will take it through the midfield circle to go to the far side with 10 remaining. Right in front of the student body, they go back to Reedford with 10. Ball deflected over the far touchline, and the sands of the hourglass are going to run out here on the Tigers and the Eagles, and we are headed to overtime. It's the Evansville Memorial Tigers 2 and the Zionsville Eagles 2. 